the problems I've encountered during the run. I had trouble snatching the speed as sometimes the robot will go fast, sometimes the robot goes slow, and sometimes the robot will be just moving side to side. Next, after after during the uh, checkpoint four, the robot will, will go very fast and you go go past the broken line and continue and go into the track, which I felt very frustrating because even though I was already at the end of the map, I couldn't finish it. Next, as I mentioned earlier, there was the inconsistent line tracing. And lastly, the robot will go out of track after the first checkpoint and the second checkpoint before that, as because there's a sharp turn around that. So all of these problems were all solved by my interesting and innovative line tracing method. I had now more of my learning experience during this competition. I had a great experience participating in Cold Space. It gave me a lot of opportunities to learn and develop my own self. I developed quite a number of talents, such as problem solving, teamwork, critical and innovative thinking, diligence, effectiveness, discipline. I learned how to work smart by preparing and practicing for the competition with full effectiveness. And I learned how to solve solutions with what I have. This is a common issue in the world because sometimes people don't have the things they want to have, but they, but they still try their best and try to bring out the best they have inside them. And this uh, RCAP Coast Space Grand Prix gave me deeper insights of the situations on Earth and how it can be solved with AI. It has molded me into a better person who can impact the society through AI. I would like to offer classes to all ages through doing this changing 21st century to teach them more on AI as, as a whole nation and as a world we move into technology. I would like to learn more from Nitin Ramesh, SG1034, who is also participating in this year's Grand Prix. He used a very um, innovative but strange method by using a timing. This timing can be effective because sometimes we don't, the robot cannot line trace and we have to take some shortcuts. And this time, some shortcuts won't be all the time left, it might be left, right. So that's why we need the timing function to tell the robot when to turn exactly. So it's an innovative method which I want to learn. So I'd like to thank a few people, Co-Space, the RCAP Academy, RoboCup, my school, my robotics teacher, my friends, and lastly, my family for supporting me all the way. Thank you so much for listening. I've come to the end of my presentation. In the next part of my presentation, I'd like to show you how I did my preliminary round between 1 minute 11 and 7, 8, 7 minutes. I would like to shape the world with a programming block a time. Thank you.